Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Las Vegas, Nevada with uh, Chile de Castro as he is going through his pre-trial hearings. Yeah, I am going to make a video about that, but first things first, I am very much well aware of what just happened, that Chile was sentenced to 180 days in jail for uh, the crimes he was charged with in this arraignment right here. However, we won't get to see that... Uh, video released for a while apparently so i'm gonna just go ahead and entertain you guys with my commentary on his pre-trial hearing so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show oh jose de castro Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Your Honor. I'm good, thank you. All right, Mr. DeCastro, this is an obstructing or false input charge. It is case 24-006842. Obviously, I'm going to ask you, you understand your proceedings are being filmed? Of course. That's, okay. That they're here because I'm here. Right. Okay. And just so that the record's clear, you have no objection to that? Of course not. Okay. I, I would like the transparency. I appreciate it. Oh, no, that's it. fine. I need to ask that. City, there's no other issues for you with respect to this being filmed? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Mr. DeCastro. Um, did you get a copy of the complaint? I did. I, the only question I have is who's the prosecutor? What's the prosecutor's name? Well, let me ask a couple questions and then we'll get into what your questions are. Did you uh, review and understand this? I don't understand it. I don't understand how I can be charged with obstruction for filming a cop. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, Chili, it wasn't uh, that you were uh, filming a cop that was the problem. It was that you were actually trying to obstruct uh, the traffic stop that you encountered by, uh, well, for one thing, trying to berate and belittle and call the cop a bunch of names when he didn't do anything to start it, when you're the one who walked up on the scene and immediately started getting aggressive with the cop. In fact, here's the video. Here's a short clip of what exactly took place. So you may want to get your lies straightened out, dude. Flashback. You good? Why, why'd they say uh, that you uh, were pulled over? Before you released. Oh, I see. What a tip. Oh, I see. Oh, gotcha. You're going to detain me how? In which way? Actually, I'm standing right here. I'm at least 10 feet away, officer. I got to tell you, I'm a constitutional law scholar. You can do whatever you want, but just understand something. Your name will go on the lawsuit. Mind your own business. Mind your own business. I'm a member of the press. Go get in your car and do your job, little doggy. Go see her. You're being detained right now. Okay, then detain me. Oh, she's oh, You're going to detain a journalist? 2015, Rodriguez. Ah, don't, don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't touch me. Don't put your fucking hands on me. No, you're not. I gotta make sure. Hey guys, make sure you guys get my get my people on the phone. Oh, this is so you ended the stop, you dunce cap. Did you just did you just end the stop? So that's yes. a 2015. No. No. In addition, bring your super. Please. End of flashback. Now I will have a link to that video in the description box below, or I might have put a link up above on the corner up there. So just take a look at it and see who's actually at fault for that one. I mean, the video is clear enough, but if you want to see the rest of it, be my guest. But poor little Chili, you're the one that caused that whole situation, and now you're paying the price because you believed yourself to be a constitutional law scholar. You only have yourself to blame. So I'm asking a more, much more basic question. You do not have to agree with this. this is do I understand I'm in charge of the misdemeanor? Yes. I do understand I'm in charge okay, of the misdemeanor. Okay, that's literally it. I have trial tomorrow for the exact same thing one year ago. Spoiler alert, you ended up getting 180 days for that. So, kind of makes me wonder, uh, Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar, who thinks he knows everything there is to know about the law, how did you manage that? 
I mean, I mean, it couldn't have been your spot on legal skills and your innate knowledge of the law. I mean, no, it couldn't have been that. I mean, what else could it have been? Now, the question is, for the next trial that's upcoming, how will you fare with that one, you douche canoe? Uh, in this uh, jurisdiction? Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't, I don't want to get into any of that. Sure. Today, we're just here for purposes of this. It's a, a you know, a very procedural uh, type of thing today for the arraignment. So you do understand what you got charged with. You do not have to agree with this. This is just an allegation. Um, so you don't need me to read it to you. I, I don't. Okay, very good. And are you planning on hiring an attorney to represent yourself? I will have a standby attorney for this case. You will have a standby yes. attorney. Okay. Because um, I think that I'm going to win this easy. It's on film, and I wasn't obstructing okay. anybody. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> is, this the, is this the prosecutor, Mar Matthew okay, B. Walker? Let's just let me do my part first, and then we can get into what it is. So, because I need to know, are you proceeding on your own? Do you want to have an attorney? Because I will give you time to talk to an attorney on your own. Oh, Chili, what happened to your magnificent law skills? Your ability to navigate through the court system? What happened to that? I mean, aren't you supposed to know the procedures of the courts since you've been in them so often? Oh, wait, you were not exactly paying attention to anything, were you? Because you think you uh, are the greatest thing since sliced bread, of course, because you don't need any of that gobbledygook when you got that uh, fantastic uh, lead-laced brain of yours, right? That's the route that you would like to go. I will have a standby attorney. Okay. In this case. So typically I would set this for a pre-trial to give you an opportunity to obtain discovery and for your attorney to find out whatever all is associated with this. Sure. So I can set that over for a pre-trial date to give you the opportunity to do that. Would you like to do that? That'd be great. Okay. And then um, what is it that you need to tell me without talking about the facts? Of the I just case? need to know if this is the prosecutor's name. Is that the person prosecuting, Matthew B. Walker? Um, that's Question. I will tell you that the city attorney is Jeffrey Dorokak, and that's the person's name on the upper left-hand corner of the complaint. Um, Matthew Walker is a deputy city attorney who actually prosecutes this case, depends on the office. I'm going to sue of, him for malicious prosecution. Okay. I'm going to sue everybody involved. I'm going to sue the cops. So I'm going to sue the Castro, county. I, oh, yeah, I'm sure they're shaking in their boots. I'm sure they're really shaking, Chili, to know that Mr. Constitutional Law Scholar uh, of the millennia is here to uh, sue them because they caught Chili in the act of, well, being an outright jackass and committing crimes, which you've been doing since at the very least 1993. I mean, you're a freaking career criminal if there ever was one. I appreciate you have an opinion. Today is just the arraignment. I got you. I got you. Saying you're, you're all just, these things, we're just, here for just, your misdemeanor case. Sure. Okay. But there's a bigger, there's a bigger issue. There's transparency in the courtroom, which is the best thing that could possibly happen. That's now the right. people get to hear that I'm going to sue Jeffrey and I'm going to sue Matthew okay. and I'm going to sue everyone. So here's one of what we're cops. not going to do, Mr. DeCastro. This is not going to be a personal pulpit for your, you know, philosophical difference or belief. You have the media here, and that's fine. This great. is an open court. But I don't want you to start saying things too far extraneous um, for purposes of this misdemeanor charge. Because well, that's what. No, nope, do not interrupt me. So here's the thing, I'm recording everything, and you need to be aware that there that's a two-sided thing. You're representing yourself, so I'm having this conversation with you. The, all these statements that you're saying can also potentially be used against you because you're getting recorded. So just so you understand. So well, here's what we're going to do. I'm does assuming the, you're entering a not guilty plea. Does correct? the misdemeanor carry jail time? Possibly, yes. It's possible jail time. So it's so you said a second ago that this is a misdemeanor case as though it's something minor, but I can be put in a dungeon and walked away. Okay. In no way so that's true. did I imply that this was minor okay. in, by, yeah, by saying deal. it is a misdemeanor. It's a big deal. Okay. Okay. Mr. Thanks. Castro, 
let's not get off on the wrong foot. I have my job to do, and I'm not trying to engage in a conversation that's adversarial with you today. No, I'm not trying to either. Like, I'm not trying to, I like you a lot. I think you look like a real nice person. Okay. I got nothing against you so personally. So we're going to end on a not guilty plea Thank on you. your behalf today. Thank you. I'm going to reset this for a pretrial. I do need to understand, because you said you were going to have standby counsel, so are you going to represent yourself primarily, or do you want to have that conversation come back with your attorney? Because there are certain procedural things I'll need to do to protect the due process and your due process if you want to go ahead and represent yourself. Right. No, I'm going to have a standby attorney, and that, that has to do with a few different things. But I should probably consult with my attorney before I say anything, because it could be used against me. Absolutely. Later. Yeah, that's fine. And I would rather that you protect yourself because we're recording and that is where I'm coming from in the kind of conversations and comments that I'm making to you today. Sure. So you are obviously entitled to represent yourself. That is your right. But let's do this. Let's get you a pre-trial date um, and that date ordinary course um, for a private attorney will be? May 1st at 1.30. May 1st at 1.30? I, I, I think I have. Do you need a different date? I, um, I may. <laughs> I may need a different date because I have a, a different thing in Indiana. I'm just not sure. Can I just look in my phone real of quick course. at my calendar here? And and you and your honor, I have absolutely nothing against you. I'm not in any way adversarial to you okay, at all. I'm glad I, you're I, I, I just, you know, because we may be yeah, on this case yeah, for I have a while. nothing against okay. you. I don't know you. You seem like a nice person to me. Chili, uh, do you actually think that you're the first person to come along? and attempt to kiss her ass? I think not. Your charms are not going to work on her, you dumbass. So stop your boot licking, stop your threats, and just get on with this BS and get out of here. And hopefully we'll get to see your arrest soon enough. I, I, I couldn't possibly help hold anything against you personally. So I'm just looking for the date that I have in Indiana. I sue lots of cops all around the country. I help sue lots of cops around the country if they violate people's rights. So I have a case in Indiana that I'm just looking for the date. And that May 1st? Yes, at 1.30. Can't talk, I'm in court. The judge is looking at me. <laughs> Is it easier if I give you a different date and then you look at that? Well, if it's not, if it's, I'm just not sure if it's May 1st or June 1st. I just, I'm just going to go there because we're, we're, I'm assisting with the financing of filing a federal civil rights lawsuit against these cops who arrested this man for filming cops. So I just want to make sure that I'm there when that happens. You know, I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. So I'm just, he's texting me back right now. I'll know the date in one second. Okay. I hate, I hate I to waste any, I'm, I hate to waste any of these people's time. You're at not all wasting anyone's time. I just want to make sure that, because then we have to reset it again. If it's possible for my attorney to be here and me not to Absolutely. be here. Absolutely. Well, then we can set it for any date that's most okay. convenient for the court. That's fine. You cool. will need to inform your attorney of that date, and okay. then I'm sure they will know to be here for you. If nobody's there on that day, that would be a problem. That would be a bad thing. Right. So you would need to be here if, in fact, this is not your attorney that you're going to hire. Because then I need to figure out, do you need any more time? Or no, I already, have, a, I already have an attorney retained. Okay. So we will keep the May 1st, 1.30 date for your uh, standby attorney to appear for you. And you do not need to appear on that date as long as your lawyer is here. What time is that at, ma'am? 1.30 in the afternoon, and okay. you are in Department 1, May 1st. Department 1 at 1.30. It's set. Okay. Thanks. All right, I will Thanks. see you I your attorney your on that day or just your attorney, Mr. Dickester. Thank you. Have a nice okay. day. Okay, you too. Well, that ends that uh, court session for Chile for the day, for that day anyway. But apparently it didn't end well for him today because, well, the word is that he got hauled away out in handcuffs and he got 180 days in jail. Oh boy, Chili, I hope you enjoy every single one of those days with Bubba and the boys because I'm sure that, well, that you'll be doing them a lot of favors for some canteen money. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?